first toast to the maid of honor, Kevin. Oh my god, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Jeff and Sam, uh, first of all, I think I can speak for all of us up here. Thank you for asking us to be a part of this incredible journey and your beautiful day. <laughs> I cannot tell you how much it means to me to be up here with you. It is truly an honor. Sorry. Jeff, my favorite brother. <laughs> I am so proud of the man you've become, especially over the last few years. I've watched you really mature and turn into someone who I know will be a wonderful husband to Sam. I know I always joke about knowing her first, but what's really important here is you're the guy who gets to love her last, and I honestly couldn't ask for more than that for her. Sam, <laughs> you ready? <laughs> you are the bestest friend I've ever had in my entire life, and you always will be. You're everything a girl could ask for in a friend, and I couldn't have handpicked anyone else in the world more perfect to love my brother. I love you so far beyond words, and I know you already know this, but I just needed to say it one more time. I felt like you were family long before today, and even before you started dating Jeff, I saw you as a sister I never had but always wanted, and today just makes it real. <laughs> to Sam and Jeff, may you have the most happy and beautiful life together. We love you. You're not going to cry. <laughs> uh, when I first met Jeff, I had my normal, overly protective brother reaction to that was. This is a guy I get to hate. <laughs> She's my little sister and I've always had that reaction when it came to guys. But as time passed, I did realize they were a perfect match. I watched them play two to three thousand games of Scrabble in the morning. I watched them both agree that getting crazy on the weekend was watching every single TV show we ever created on Netflix. But the one thing that put it over the top that made me realize this was going to work was watching two grown people buy each other more stuffed animals than the only small child we ever need. But family is the most important thing to me, and when it comes to my sister, I just want the best. And now I know that Jeff is the man that's going to give her that. He's a great person, with a great heart. And before I end this, seven or eight months ago, Jeff said that once he married my sister, he was going to become half Korean. <laughs> and through tireless work from my parents, we were able to get you an identification card that officially says you are half Korean. I'll also provide you a discount for all the restaurants. So. Uh, but I love you guys, and congratulations. Oh, thank you so much.